Thank you for tuning into the Walk in Truth Radio Network. Stay tuned for an encouraging word from Pastor, Teacher Dr. James Sutton. Let's see what Pastor Sutton has to say to us today. Hello, this is Pastor Jay, and I want to encourage you today. Today is going to be a story. There once was a garden, a very beautiful garden. There was a garden keeper. And many people would pass through the garden every day. Men, women, and children would admire all the beautiful roses in the garden. And one day a young man walked by and he talked to the garden keeper and he said, I want to pick a rose. And the garden keeper looked at him and said, okay. He said, but I tell you what, I want you to go pick the rose that you believe God would pick. And the young man said, yeah, because that would be the best one, wouldn't it? And the garden keeper just looked at him and smiled. So the boy, the young man, walked through the garden looking through all the roses. He saw pink ones. He saw red ones. He even saw blue ones and black ones and white ones. He saw mixed colored roses. And then he smelled the aroma of each one. And eventually he found the one that he wanted to pick. And he picked it. And it was beautiful. It didn't have many thorns on it. It had no blemishes on it. It was perfect. And he said, this is the one that God would want. And the garden keeper said, hmm. He said, let me show you something. So he walked the young man through the garden, way in the back. There was these flowers. Some were speckled. Some were not perfect. Some had real thick thorns on them. But they had one thing the other flowers didn't have. The hummingbirds, the bees and the butterflies were landing on these imperfect flowers, getting the nectar from them. And he said, did you not see these flowers? He said, yeah, but they didn't look good. They didn't smell as good. And you see these thick thorns? He said, hmm. The vine dresser just smiled again and said, yes, you picked the one that was the most beautiful, that smelled the blessed, that looked good and didn't have many thorns on it. But you know, God, he'd probably pick the one with a butterfly, the bees and the hummingbirds would pick. You see how many of them are going around getting the nectar and the pollen from these and these unattractive roses will go on to produce more fruit. Not because they look the best, not because they smell the best, because there's something inside of them that is the best. And therefore, God would probably pick them. The young man left and didn't understand it until he got home. Because once he got home, and presented the rose that he picked, he saw that the rose had already started to wilt. I want you to think about this. Tell me what lesson did you learn from this? This is Pastor Jay. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and please share this and discuss it with each other and see what you can glean from this story. This is Pastor Jay. Peace.